So I've got to put a bit of a hold on this project starting tomorrow. So that means I'm going to go big. Get right into this big nodule of Kentucky Hornstone. My goal is to take as many large spalling flakes off this as I can. That platform at the top there looks perfect. I can use that as a natural platform and drive off, let's say, hopefully 10 nice sized large flakes that I can use to get some projectile points and other tools. Some pretty crazy cortex on that. I've never worked horn stone before. So we'll see how this goes. Wish me luck. This is a much bigger piece I'm working with here. So obviously I'm gonna need some bigger tools. So I've got a couple large hammer stones. This one I found locally. I'm pretty sure it's a big river worn piece of granite. It's a nice hard hammer, and I've got a big quartzite cobble here, which is one of the first hammer stones I ever had. Neither of these are quite big enough for the job, but they're the biggest good hammer stones I have, so I'll have to make do. I'm not trying to get really huge flakes off this anyways, just nice, good size, usable ones. So this might be okay as the biggest hammer. So like I said, I want to use this big flat surface as a natural platform that I can prepare individual platforms on and drive large flakes off of first this face. We'll work towards this. This is a big mess anyways, so we can probably just leave that as the back of the core. Figure it out later. Don't need to remove anything in the early stages but here i just want to get this angle a bit better so i'll take off some flakes here and then drive the initial flake down this way using somewhere around here as the platform that's a nice color Looks pretty smooth. Fairly thin cortex on that. some pretty cool looking material.
See this angle here is just slightly less than 90 degrees now. That's what I'm looking for. There is a bit of an impact here, so there might be a Hertzian cone hiding in there. Maybe I can take this off. Doesn't look like it goes too deep. I can try and impact right here with the big hammer stone. Drive a flake that comes down to here maybe. Should make this face a bit better to then start taking off more. So when I'm taking off big flakes I like to hold it a little differently. I don't really like to just go like this. It's still a bit loose back here and you need to stabilize it really well to get your flake to go where you want it. So I tend to hold it in here. There's a little kind of saddle for it. it sits between my legs. It's actually open underneath, so the flake can just travel down. It's not being constricted anywhere. Haven't taken a lot of large flakes like this on camera. Here goes nothing. Broke up into a couple pieces, but that did the job more or less. Not quite as big as I wanted, but Probably that Hertzian cone there slowed it down a little. I think instead of fussing around with it too much, I'll just hit that. Try and take this one off. Kind of batter the edge a little bit to make it a bit stronger in case I accidentally hit it. I'm aiming for somewhere right around there. Well, that was a little too much, maybe. But that is a pretty cool flake. Look at that bullseye effect in there. Nice. Little close up. There's the platform. A little closer to the edge than I was aiming, really. And I drove it at a pretty far angle inwards. I wanted it to come around here, if possible. It went a little far, but that's okay. Skinned off a lot of that cortex. Opened up a really cool pattern and texture in this stone. I am very much looking forward to working with this stuff. This is going to be great. 
What I want to do next is take a big flake down here, get some more of this cortex off. But I need to fix up this angle a little bit, so I'll get rid of these sharp edges, take a few flakes off this way, so I can lower this spot and get a better angle at a platform here, drive a flake down that way. not really going according to plan so far. I think I might come in and take one here first. I was trying to angle it down that way a little bit, but it came here again, right through the bullseye. Nice flake, regardless of intention. I need to try and get a slightly smaller one here first. See how this 
this platform protrudes pretty far here. I won't be able to get this whole side off the way this platform is right now. But if I get a smaller one here, I can set up a better platform, take a big one there. use this hammer stone and just try to pop this off. Well, it did what I wanted it to. It broke in half. Two smaller pieces out of it. Actually, this is the best angle right now. Platform flake. What the heck happened there? There must be a big flake in there just ready to come off. You can see a tiny crack right there where it started to initiate. Let's see where that goes. Wow, that bit really far into the center of this. It was a bad strike. There's also some quartz right in the middle of this, some really cool patterning. Let's get a closer view of that. Well, I definitely could have gone about this in a better way. That's pretty messy. I'll have to come back up from this way. Get a smaller flake here. Maybe a thicker one that comes up to here. Try and salvage the face of this core. That's where that first piece broke off. That was the initial. I hit that platform three times. The first time, not hard enough. And it just came down here. And then the last one sent it off finally. Check out the center of this stone though. You can see the way the chert formed around those small quartz pockets in the middle. That bullseye effect happens as 
the stone forms in successive layers around the center. Different colors and different texture, slightly, slightly grainier, sandier maybe feeling on the out, in the outer layer and inside feels smoother here until you get to the quartz, then it gets pretty rough. Cool. Well, I'm afraid this is where I have to leave things for now. I've got to clean up quickly and move to a new apartment. So there's no time to get anything else done. I'll have to fix that up at a later date. Stay tuned to see how things go. Pretty cool looking rock no matter what happens.